Warning, this video is only for the age of 14 and older. If you're not the age of 14, I'm sorry, you're not welcome here. Hey guys, what's up? So if you guys have already seen the Red Rod review, which is the red car right here, go ahead and go to the end video to check it out. So today I'm going to review it as a new model for 2020, and the one I'm going to be reviewing is this. New for 2020 Hot Wheels number 107. And from the HW Race Day Series, 1 out of 10, we have here is the Formula E Gen 2 car. So here it is, what it's, what it's looking like, front of the packaging. And here it is, the back of the packaging. And also, and also the sponsorship of Formula E, of course. Here it is, the code right here if you want to pause the video. And it's born in Paris, France. The designer is Spark. So here it is, the Formula E Gen 2 diecast itself. Oops. I want to say something. This doesn't look like one of the most futuristic Formula car ever. I like it a lot. You can see the nice um, detail in the graphics on this diecast. If you can barely see it, focus on it. There we go. Here it is. What it looks like. Pretty good looking. You got a bunch of bun uh, a bunch of sponsorship sponsorship everywhere in the diecast. It's so cool. Unfortunately, it will not work for loops and jumps, so this one will be great for for boosters and curves because the way it designed. Here is the what it looks like, you know, the front of the bumpers right here. It does roll pretty well. I want to mention one thing: this diecast could be my favorite besides Total Dispenser. This diecast is so cool. I like it a lot. If you want to like, you know, buy a whole army of this, custom paint it, and race it. I dare you. I wish I could. I wish I could see this one in the Hot Wheels ID version of this one for Series Two. I'm still need to buy some like some Hot Wheels ID. It's been like months reviewing it, but don't worry. I'll promise I'll review more if I have money. I like this diecast a lot. This is so cool. The black, the gray with the blue, so cool. Plastic base, metal body, great weight to it. I love this diecast a lot. Now, if you guys already know the rules, so like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see the Rip Rod review, go ahead and check it out right now. I'll tell next time, you guys. I'm out.